and welcome back to another installment of the Chef's Library. I'm the host, Chef Dan Williams, and today we're going to be talking about Heston Blumenthal's At Home Cookbook. Um, so yeah, let's head over to my chair and we'll start talking about it. This is Heston Blumenthal's At Home Cookbook. Uh, it is 407 pages long. It costs, on average, $60, depending on where you buy it. On Amazon right now, it is $40.49. Uh, so that would be a good place to buy it if you don't own it already. I, however, picked up mine at a thrift store for a dollar. So really good to find on my part. So a little bit about Heston Blumenthal. Uh, he is considered a pioneer in the multi-sensory or modern uh, cuisine. He owns the Fat Duck, which is in England, and he has three Michelin stars. He is also an OBE, which is an order of the British, em uh, an officer of the Order of the British Empire. So let me bring you over to my desk, and we'll have a peek inside. All right. So the front cover is just a picture of Heston in a refrigerator with a bunch of food in his hands, the spine, just very simple spine, and the back, it just says classic home cooking by Britain's most creative chef. And it's the other side of the refrigerator. Uh, I do not know if this had a dust cover. It didn't when I bought it, but I don't think it does because the picture on Amazon looks exactly like this with the textured uh, cover. So, table of contents. First section talks about flavor, then it goes into the different types of foods, so stocks, soups, starters, salads, meat, fish, sous vide, pasta and grains, cheese, sides and condiments, ices, so like ice creams and uh, sorbets, uh, desserts and sweets, biscuits, snacks and drinks, and then it talks about like things you'll need, ingredients, and how to use the book as well as an index. Alright, some nice shots of Heston pouring tea. And then this just talks about flavor for a while, umami, saltiness, bitterness, all that jazz. Stocks, it just goes over a bunch of different stocks, uh, different ways to make stocks. Uh, next section, soups. Uh, there is beautiful photography, very simple, either black or a countertop, white background. Very little going on in the photos, but they are beautiful, like this red cabbage uh, gazpacho. So yeah, most of these are very simple recipes. They're just plated in an elegant way. Um, starters, uh, for example, in here, there were a couple that were a little more advanced, which were kind of cool. Like the scallop tartare with white chocolate. There's foams involved, there's a tartare involved, tons of stuff. And I like how they set up the recipes. They set up the recipes in sections of what each component is made up of, which makes it super simple to organize yourself when cooking. It also up here tells you what you need to finish and serve it with. This book is was written in Britain, so it's all in grams, and I believe also when an oven's involved, it's in Celsius. I prefer all my recipes in grams. I like weighing out everything because it's way more accurate than using volumetric measurements. There's some, also some interesting things in here, like this brulee chicken liver parfait. Uh, looks delicious, I will be trying that. Uh, like jellies. The pictures are beautiful, the recipes, they're pretty easy to follow, they're organized well. We'll just go through this a little bit more. Bacon and egg ice cream, that sounds good. But yeah, very, very simple, simply written recipes that could provide a bit of a challenge for the home cook, but I think overall, as long as you follow these, they're really well organized, these recipes, you should have no issue. Oh, that's pretty. What is that? Arlette with pressed apple terrine. Mm. And as I said, in the back of the book, it tells you things you're gonna need, like a blowtorch, a cream whipper, a digital probe, scales, all sorts of stuff. Hand blender, ice cream machine, refractometer, a sous vide. Then it tells you all the special ingredients you'll need. But some of these things aren't, in my opinion, that special, like Szechuan peppercorns, I always have those. But dry ice, agar agar, some of those things can be a little difficult to look to locate. Panko, that's not difficult to get. You can get that any at any grocery store. Soy sauce, mirin, all those things are pretty easy to come by. So yeah, and then it just talks about how to use the book. So let's head back over to my chair and I will give you my thoughts. Overall, I think this book is really, really good. I think home chefs will not have a difficult time at all following any of the recipes. Also, I really like it when books have these. I just noticed that. So it uh, comes with a little bookmark. 
which is cool. Yeah, as I was saying anyway, home cook shouldn't have an issue with this. If you want to do some really cool recipes without too much food knowledge, this would be the book to use, in my opinion. Uh, the recipes are really straightforward, really simple. Uh, as long as you follow them, you won't have an issue. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about this. I don't really have any cons for this book at all, uh, which is good. So before we go, we're I started a new system for how we're going to choose books for the next episodes. We're not going to go through the entire library shelf by shelf in order because that to me is kind of boring. So I inputted the entire library into a spinner wheel on the computer and we're going to use that to select next episode's book. So let's go do that. All right, so here we go. The Home Built Winery. All right, so our next episode will be on the Home Built Winery book. As I said, this is a really great book. I highly suggest everybody pick it up. If you're interested in elevating your food a little bit, this is a great resource. As always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Head over to my website, www.chefandb.com. Once again, that's www.chefandb.com. Over there, you can sign up for a newsletter, you can take a little survey, uh, you can shop on there. I do have some merchandise available now. So yeah, I will see you next time.